Hello everyone, my name is Mad Madi and welcome to the second episode of my survival series. I am very happy that we are to continue our journey here and it's time to change this iron outfit to something more shiny. Don't you think? So let's start this episode with a little mining time lapse. I've got my iron pickaxes ready, I've got stakes, I've got torches, crafting benches and everything we need, so let's start it! So I'm just stumbled across an iron vein and I just want to tell you guys that I am very grateful that Mojang decided to make mining more interesting, you know, or these corridors to explore, to dig all of that iron. Uh, I just think that this brings mining more purpose and it just makes it more interesting. So as I was mining, I had to go back home many times to repair my pickaxes and to be honest, I thought that the entrance was just boring and I needed to change that so I've decided to make it look more appealing and I want to make it as the building was buried over the years and it's like uh, sticking out of the ground or the hill I would say. That's why when I'm building I'm trying to keep more rooted and eroded and dirty textures closer to the ground and those more clean I keep closer to the entrance. And that's basically how I textured this building. And of course a little bit of details is never a bad thing. The details keep the building looks more used and that's the look that we're going for. Some spruce fences as a support as the building was deteriorating over the years and a little bit of details with stone brick walls. And of course, we can forget about texturing the surroundings. I started to make a little bit of a path leading to the house, but I am still need to finish it, so it's not done yet. It's going to be, don't worry. So I was mining for maybe two hours, maybe a little bit more, because I was watching a film. And I dig through a lot of deep slate, a lot of stone, and this is how much ores we got. So now let's take it all, get my fortune pick, and let's see how much we actually got. I really hope that is going to be a good amount. I don't want to go down there again, at least not now. So let's place it all. And let's dig. Okay, let's see how much we actually got. I think that this is not bad at all. I've got like nine and a half stacks. That's really good. Okay, let's see how much coal we've got. Three stacks and a little bit, that's not bad, that's not bad. And now, the last thing to place down and dig are diamonds. So let's do that. I've got almost two and a half stacks and I think that this is a great time to make ourselves something shiny. But first let's take a look at our ore. I don't think that's bad, I really don't think that's bad. So let's cover ourselves in diamonds. Chestplate, helmet, leggings and boots. 
But now we're shiny and blue, but not so shiny yet. We need to enchant it. But first, let's make ourselves some tools, because we need to enchant them too. A pickaxe to be our fortune pick, an axe, shovel, sword and a hoe, because why not? Take some lapis and go upstairs to enchant our staffs. Those are my enchantments and not gonna lie, they are kinda trashy, but better safe than sorry and to make them better we're going to need villagers. Luckily we got a village nearby, to the composter. Yeah, you got it, you got this. To the composter, come on, come on. You almost there, hey. Yeah, it's going to take a while. Let me speed it up for you. While I'm doing this, I just want to tell you that I don't know why people tell that villagers are annoying or something. I know it's hard, it's a grind to work with them, but Minecraft is a grind. So I don't find them annoying, I find them challenging. And that makes a big difference. It wasn't that bad, we got it in a hole. And now let's take another one. No, 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 be careful, be careful, okay, 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 okay. And to the hole, to the hole, okay. Oh, that was easier than I thought. So we've got the two of them, the two that we needed, and now let's start breeding them. So I've got a lot of wheat, so let's make some bread and give that to the villagers. Apropos villagers. I moved them to the different hole because the one that was out there, I think that in the place of that hole I'm going to build a library or a place for my future librarians to stay in. Now you get some bread and make babies. Yeah! While they are breeding, I've collected many materials that are going to be necessary to build a library and I think that the new building is going to be in a similar style than my starter house. Did I hear the Baby villager? Oh yeah, I definitely heard a baby villager. Yay! We got a baby! Yay! The family is growing. Okay, that's very good. That's very good news. And as the sun is setting, without further ado, let's jump into time lapse. Okay, the first villager to go in the new place. <sighs> Come here. Come here. Good. 
And let's go. Let's go. And the second one. You see, they are basically coming all by themselves. You just need a little bit of help. When they are in minecarts, it's much easier to transport them whenever I want them to go. You see, just a little bit of rails, a little bit of a push and they are in, in their place. So yeah, as you see, we've got a lot of them. We've got Sweeping Edge, Protection 4, Silk Touch and a Looting Free. The last place in that side is for Mending Guy. And, and this is me basically trying to move them into their positions, to get rid of the minecarts that they're in, to give them workstations. And I'm going to breed more villagers and replace their workstation to get the traits that I want. And that's basically what you see me doing right now. It takes a little bit of time, a little bit of patience, but at the end, they are going to be in their places. And I just realized that I didn't show you the house and it's raining right now, but you know, I'm going to show it either way. This is a little willow that I've built. I really think that is very cute and make the building come together very nice. The whole building is built as like a cathedral maybe, but it's not a cathedral. We've got little trees outside and the inside look like this. You know, we've got places for 20 villagers upstairs and downstairs and I think that I'm going to build a little bit of a chandelier because it's pretty empty the ceiling I really believe that it's pretty spacious in here don't mind the rails because you know they are just here to make the transporting of the villagers easier for me but now I'm going to just work and see you guys when I finish just kidding, I got bored and decided to explore more caves and I found a skeleton spawner with some melon seeds and I decided to make a quick little XP farm and bone meal farm. It's not the best, but you know, it's working. I didn't have soul sand to make an elevator, so they're just falling to their death. <laughs> So I was collecting XP and I was trading with villagers for emeralds, now the chandelier is ready and all of the 20 villagers are in their places. All of them are labeled and my armor is almost fully complete. I've lost my shovel somewhere but that's a future me problem. I'm just missing unbreaking on my boots and on my chest and as you can see it's pretty costly, it's 34 levels and that's all the levels I have right now so I'll be right back with the 10 more levels. And I was trading emeralds for lanterns and bookshelves and now I've got 12 more levels so I'm ready to enchant the last part of my armor which is my chest plate. My chest plate with unbreaking free and here we are, we are full shiny, enchanted and ready for the future adventures. I did a list with the things that I'm going to do in the future. In the next episode, I'm going to head to the nether and do one or two things from that list. I don't know which one yet, but I know that this is the end of the second episode of my survival series. Thank you guys all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click that like button. Leave some feedback in the comments and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!